At first and five, we have breaking news involving CPS Energy. Embattled president and CEO Paula Gold Williams will resign next year. Gold Williams has been facing months of scrutiny following the February winter storms. The outages that were part of that are Dylan Collier joins us live from the KSAT 12 newsroom with details. Dylan, a bit of a surprise today. Steve, the timing certainly was surprising. Gold Williams will step down in early 2022 with the public utility now fully entangled in controversy and struggling to pull out of a massive financial hole stemming from February's winter storm. Issues with CPS Energy really began to surface after that winter blast. Records show the utility was slow to buy natural gas and that leadership spent hours on arguably the most critical day of the storm, drafting a letter to try and boost support for Gold Williams. CPS Energy's entire senior legal team then resigned months later after clashing with Gold Williams. There were allegations that Gold Williams herself had also mistreated members of her senior leadership team. Her chief operating officer, Fred Bonniewell, was forced to resign resigned last week, just days after we exposed a prior ethics complaint against him and concerns with how he used a corporate credit card over several years. And then just the overall public opinion of the utility, its approval rating in back-to-back -back Bearfax KSAT San Antonio report polls was under 50% and not recovering, even though we are now eight months removed from that storm. CPS officials say Gold Williams will stay on while the board transitions to a new leader. She has led the agency since 2016. The utility still on the hook for $585 million in bills for the purchase of fuel and gas during a few days during that storm. And then there's that possible double digit rate hike looming in the not too distant future. Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Thank you, Dylan. Appreciate it. Uh, are you at all thinking that this was coming? Did you have any warning that this might happen? I had a feeling that this was going to be the next step, Steve, after we saw Fred Bonniewall resign last Friday. There are a lot of issues, some of which we have not even reported yet, that we're still gathering records on uh, that sort of tie her to some of the issues with Bonniewell even before he was promoted to chief operating officer. So uh, really not surprised. I am surprised that it was announced in a short press release late in the afternoon in the middle of the week uh, no kind of goodbye press conference anything of that nature sort of just a, a press release posted on the cps utility website it's interesting you bring that up dylan i had people inside cps energy tell me they were dismayed that it was made that right now and the timing and and all of that so yeah. thanks for your reporting and we'll continue to follow this obviously dylan collier